what's up everybody? Welcome back to an episode of Chris and Chris. Hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be talking about audio and visual enhancements for your wedding reception. So, question is, are you looking to set your wedding apart from others? If so, we've got the information for you. Let's dive right in. So, um, obviously all you need to have fun at a wedding is really good music, right. but... Let's talk about taking it to the next level. Let's let's talk about enhancing that guest experience. Exactly, right? exactly. You want to elevate, you know, take your take your reception, take your party to you know another level. These are some enhancements that we offer that can really help with that. Um, so I mean, let's talk about number one. Yeah, first up, I think probably the most common um, is going to be the video entertainment. Um, why don't you explain a little bit about? Yeah, so video entertainment is when you incorporate TV screens into your guest experience. Um, so basically what we do is, you know, we'll bring out 70 inch TVs, um, we set them up side by side so everything is... Um, symmetrical. Symmetrical. And it looks really, really nice. And there's so many different things that we can do with video entertainment. Right. You know, we could display all kinds of visuals on the TVs to make that really exciting. But then there's also like personal things, you know, that we can do to add like a little personal touch to the wedding reception. Now, you know, everybody always thinks about, you know, photo montages yeah. that always come, you know. That's like the standard. That's like the standard, but let's think outside of the box, yep. right? You know, what what else can we do with these TVs? It's really all about getting creative like, exactly you know as, as creative as the couple wants to get is as creative as as we'll get exactly so, sky's the limit basically literally yeah <laughs> you could display anything on these tvs so um chris why don't you kick off with some of uh the most popular kind of outside the box things that we display yeah definitely so we do the couples interview mm -hmm. um we do proposal videos yep. Uh, we do home videos, yeah. which is really, really nice. Um, we could do live streams. Live streams are really fun. Um, and that's pretty much everything. Yeah. Uh, you know, I wouldn't say everything, but those are the most common, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. um, so the couples interview. This is really cool. I, it's I, our, yeah. It's, we're going to be honest. This is probably our favorite thing to display on it's, the TVs. It's my favorite. Yeah. Absolutely. So the couple's interview is really cool. So what we do with the couple's interview is we, so we invite you down to the office mm -hmm. and we sit you down individually um, and we ask you a series of questions, all relationship based, yep. you know, uh, how did you guys first meet? What was the, you know, what was the first date like? What was the proposal like? Mm -hmm. um, things like that. When did you fall in love? That's at, a big one. Yeah, at what point did you <laughs> fall in love? So we ask you all of these questions, but we ask you individually. Right. Um, and then we piece it together in like a nice segment, mm -hmm. probably about five to six minutes long. Yeah, it's nothing crazy. Something like that. And then we display it during dinner at your reception. Now, the, the cool thing about this, what I love about the couple's interview, is that, you know, you don't know what your significant other you don't know what their answer is going to be. Right. You don't know what they're saying. Yeah. You know, so, so, you know, we'll be asking the same question, uh, but sometimes, sometimes, you know, the answers are the same. Sometimes they're different. Sometimes they're very funny. Sometimes they're, you know, uh, sentimental, sentimental yeah. Yeah. you know, and, and it's great because, you know, all of those differences just create um, really good reactions from the guests. Yeah. You know? It's super entertaining. Like your guests will get a kick out of this. Um, you know, it's, it changes up the pace from just your, your typical, you know, dinner background music. It keeps your guests engaged. Everybody's focused up front and listening to your answers. And like Chris said, you guys have no idea what the other one said. So whether your answers are different or the same, you know, when they, when they line up, it's kind of that like awe moment. Where, yeah, like they, exactly. they both feel the same way. Definitely. But then when Definitely. they're, when they're different that's when you know things get interesting yeah um so like i always tell people my favorite my favorite example to use of of kind of what the couple's interview is all about is going back to that question uh, at what point did you know that you guys fell in love and you know exactly who i'm talking about here <laughs> yeah um great reaction <laughs> we had we had a bride and groom that came in and they sat down they did their interview 
and um, Jacqueline was was the bride. She gave this very sentimental, lovey-dovey answer of, "I knew John was was the one." Like after the second date, and then it flips to John and his answer, and he gives an answer of two years after dating. Um, so you can imagine the reaction of the crowd and the families when you know that all came about on the wedding day. Yeah. Um, and we knew the answers going into it, so we we were cracking up yeah. the entire time. It, it was but... <laughs> really really funny, and they thought it was really funny they did. too. They which did. Was they were really good sports. Cool, they were good you sports. Know? Which was awesome. So, so yeah, that's that's pretty much the couple's interview. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes people, they're like, oh, I'm a little camera shy. I don't know if it's for me. But, you know, once you sit down and, and you know, you get in front of the camera, it's just it's just a one-on-one. -on -one yeah. And, and it always comes together really nice. And, and we're just, talking about, like, we're talking about your relationship. We're talking about, look, you, you will be comfortable. Like, once yeah. you once you answer the first question, it'll be a breeze. Yeah. Absolutely. There's that slight icebreaker. Yes, definitely. And then, then you just feel natural. Yep. And and your guests really appreciate it. Yeah. Um, so proposal videos. Um, Chris, you want to tell them a little bit about the, the, the proposal video? Yeah. So if you, you know, this is great for, for couples who were fortunate enough to be able to capture their pro actual proposal on film. So if you have that video somewhere um, and you want to kind of show that off during your wedding, let us know. Send it on over. Um, typically, we like to do this like right before the couple's introduction for reception. So, what we'll do is we'll bring in the entire wedding party. Everybody's all fired up and excited. The energy is really high. What we'll do is we'll kind of reset the room and create a moment out of it. We'll turn to the TVs, point everyone's attention towards the screens, and we'll play that proposal video and kind of just show everyone the moment that got us here. Um, and then at that point, Everybody, again, gets fired up, ready to go. We call in the couple to the reception. They're welcomed by their friends, their family, and, and we, kick, we kick off the party that way. Yeah, I think it's awesome. It was really cool. Yeah. You know, we've done it a few times, and every single time we've done it, it's, it's been a home run. It's yeah. Been really cool. Cool. Excellent. Um, what else? So, home videos. Home videos. Yeah. The, I think this, this is really cool. Yeah. This is really cool. So, imagine... Having like a parent dance, dance with your parent, right? And you know, this for any parent, this is like a moment yeah. that they've literally been waiting for since the day you were born, right? You know, um, and you know, here here you are at your wedding. You know, emotions are heightened. Like this is just such a special moment, mm -hmm. and you're in the middle of your dance. All of a sudden, there's a home video of you when you were like four years old comes up on the TV screen. Audio, everything. So we'll hear like your your child right. voice. Yeah, you know? right, right. <laughs> and uh, you, you completely surprise, you know, the person that you're dancing with um, and everyone in the crowd. Yeah. And it's like everyone is taken back for a moment. And it's just, it's incredible. It just creates an amazing vibe in the room. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a really, really nice way to surprise, you know, that someone special yep. that you're dancing with, with, um, you know, awesome memories from the past. Yeah. You know, because uh, any parent is going to look at that and be like, wow, like, I remember that exact moment. Yeah. You know, how so. many times do like your parents want to watch old home videos? Exactly. Like, imagine throwing that in the middle of a wedding. Yeah. Where like you said, emotions are just high and you know. So cool. Unexpected and really, really cool to watch unfold. Yeah, I love it. Love it. Um, live streams. Yeah. So. so <laughs> I love the New Year's Eve live stream idea. Live stream idea for the ball drop is always, always gonna work. Yeah. Um really cool again it's a huge party day um everyone is ready you know ready to go because it's new year's eve throw on top of that the wedding celebration tie it all together for that moment around midnight where we do the countdown everyone gets to watch the live ball drop it's really cool um you're going to get amazing photos confetti whatever you guys want to do with that um so that that's a great moment um, that's just one of the examples. One example for, for of a, a live stream. stream. Yeah. When else do you think live streams could come in handy? <laughs> I mean, I don't want to say this because I don't want to like take away from the moment of your wedding day, but you know, 
But it, it should be a thought. Yeah. Um, big games. Big games, big cultural events, whatever the case may be. If there is like a must-see event happening on your wedding day, please consider having some sort of live stream there. Um, because, you know, we, we've seen it in the past. Big games, sporting events, a lot of people, you know, during dinner or even during the party itself, on their phones, at the bar, watching TV. It's taking away from, from the party. Um, you want your guests engaged, focused, out on the dance floor the entire time. So just a thought, live stream that event. It'll help with the party itself. Yeah, it'll, you know, everyone will stay engaged right. on the dance floor, right. you know, dancing and having a good time, but they'll also be able to take like a quick peek right. to see right. oh, what's going on. They're right not going to have to like sneak under the table yeah, and like check exactly. their They're phones. not going to like try to, you know, yeah. be like, oh, I got to hide my phone because right. I really want to watch this, but I also really want to have a good time, <laughs> right. you know? <laughs> so, uh, just, you know, just an idea, just a thought. Um, we've done it before and it was really, really cool. Um, and it always works out really nice. Yep. So, awesome. That pretty much wraps up video entertainment again. We mentioned earlier, as creative as you want to get with that, we'll get with it. So those are just a few of the examples of what we've displayed in the past, but we're always open to, to different ideas, and as long as it's possible, we'll, we can make it happen. Yeah, exactly. If you have a suggestion, an idea, you want to bring it to life, you just let us know. Yep. We're happy to help. Awesome. Um, so let's incorporate some lighting, mm -hmm. right? Um, custom monograms. Yeah. Custom monograms are really, really cool. Um, basically, you know, set your name in, set your name in lights. Right. Yeah. Display it. Display exactly. it in the room. Create it'll, a larger than life presence. It'll be the first time that you see, you know, if you choose to do your married names on there, it'll be the first time that people will see those names in lights. So that's really cool. Yeah. And, um, I mean, for those of you who don't know what a custom monogram is, it's basically, um, a projection, a light, mm -hmm. a light projection of a design and um, your names and your wedding date on, I like to put it on a wall personally. Yeah. They've been on floors as mm -hmm. well. Um, I don't prefer them to be on the floor because sometimes it gets elongated. Yeah, um, and, e and even when guests are on the floor, then you, they're like you lose the effect. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I really like to find like a nice blank wall mm -hmm. space um, and project it on there. It looks really, really good. Uh, inside of your venue, if you have, like, let, uh, let's say there's some really good wall space right by your grand entrance, yep. that's always really, really nice because, you know, when we introduce the newlyweds into the reception room, you know, they're being introduced, everything's hyped, right. and like, you know, you see their name in lights. Right. It's really cool. It is. It is. Um, so, so that's what a custom monogram is, and, you know, that's kind of how we can add some visual into the reception. Nice. Um, personalized audio. Another big one. Another big one. Um, so for those of you that don't know what personalized audio is, um, it's basically like an enhancement that we offer where we pre-record a message from you and layer it over a song. Right. And the reason why we do that is because the idea behind it is that you know, you're gonna be dancing with someone special whether it be a parent mm -hmm. or whether it be your your spouse yep. or or whoever, you know, you're sharing this dance with them and you want to let them know how much they mean to you. Mm -hmm. You can express that in a personalized audio message and have that message relayed to the, you know, that special someone during your dance for them and all of your guests to hear it just creates an amazing moment. Yeah, this is the perfect enhancement if you know like someone in your family or again someone that you're going to be dancing with is very sentimental. Yeah. This is the perfect enhancement for you. Yeah. I've even seen it done in like a comical way. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, actually also, you know, uh, where the bride was like joking or like literally cracking jokes <laughs> and with, like through the message to yeah. her dad and and it was cool cuz it like lightened the mood a little yeah, bit, you yeah. know, and it was really really fun. So, um again, it's like, you know, how creative do you want to get with it mm -hmm. and what kind of message do you want to relay? So, personalized audio, definitely a way to, you know, elevate the audio experience. Yeah, definitely. Uh, live percussion. This you want to take, yeah. take this one? Yeah, I'll cover this one. This one kind of hits both audio and visual. Um, 
live percussion, uh, we have an in-house percussionist here, and it adds that live music kind of performance feel to the wedding uh, without having like a live band. Um, so essentially, our percussionist plays in pocket with the DJ the entire night, uh, whether we're playing, it doesn't matter what genre we're playing, it could be disco, it could be classic rock, it could be pop punk, it could be hip hop, it could be anything. Um, we play, you know, you get the, the drums, the live music, but the DJ as well, and it just kind of takes your dance sets to an entire another level. Um, it's just super interactive. You know, you're going to see a bunch of guests are going to be watching Mike and what he's doing um, with his performance. And then, uh, you know, it just, it really just takes, takes the dance sets and, and heightens everything up. Um, anything else with that? I mean, you know. I mean, I love a, a live percussionist because right. I come from a live music background. Right. <laughs> so I'm always all for it. Yeah. You know, I love incorporating any type of live music into, into a DJ set. Yeah. I just think that, um, you know, there, there's, uh, there's a lot of guests out there that, that, you know, are into that kind of they thing. They appreciate it. They appreciate it. They love it. It's just another form of added entertainment, you know, um, on top of your DJ, and it's yeah. really, really fun. And it works really well together. It like, does. It blends nicely. Yep. It's not like one is taking over the no. other. It's, no. if it's done right, it sounds really good. Yeah, and it, and it looks awesome. I mean, it is a full drum kit, like professional drum kit yeah. alongside your DJ setup. It looks awesome. It sounds awesome. Um, and it's really, like, like Chris said, it's really cool to watch, even from, you know, my standpoint. Like, I love he just hearing Mike do his thing and play in pocket with us. Like, it still blows my mind how he's able to just kind of listen to the first few beats, and, and so then, boom, he's right, right in. in. It's right in. It's, it's really cool. <laughs> doesn't even make a mistake. No. At no. all. It's awesome. Yeah. So, live percussionist, definitely a way to, you know, enhance the audio. Yeah. Well, really, and visual experience, because really? now you're watching, you know, you're kind of watching a live performer. Exactly. At that point as exactly. well. So. so. Cool. Excellent. So, so yeah, I mean, these are, these are several audio. Few, yeah. These are several audio and visual enhancements that can definitely, you know, enhance your um, reception. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely take things to the next level and, you know, have fun with it. It's all about the guest experience. You know, it's like, what kind of experience do you want to create for your guests? Right. Um, how do you want your guests to remember the wedding? You know, um, so, you know, definitely think about all of that while you're planning. And, you know, it will help you piece together you know, the perfect reception. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed all of this today. I hope you found it helpful. Um, definitely check out the blog we wrote about this to learn some more. We'll link it in the description below. Give us a like, subscribe. Also, if you're watching on Insta, head to the link in our bio and, um, and check it out some more. Also, if you have a topic that you want us to talk about, all right. let us know. Send us a comment and we'll see you next time.